Sister, come in. Sister. Sister, good afternoon. Sister. Sister. Oh. 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 Hola. You're back. Yes, I'm back. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Sister. I'm sure you remember Eluka. Hmm. I remember him. Both of you have been moving about the village lately. Um, sister. Eluka has asked me to marry him. Is it? He asked me to be his wife. And what did you say? I said yes. Yes, you. You want to marry a good man? Uh, um, I'm a housekeeper, ma. Housekeeper. Eh. Uh, oh. I'm very sure there's a big difference. Hmm. Hola. Sister. Are you sure she is ready to keep a woman? In a palanya of Uma, are you sure you know him that well? Sister. Oh, it's okay, Ola. It's fine. <clears throat> She's just looking out for you. It's okay. Um, sister. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I am not your sister. Please. Sorry. Please. Sorry. I understand your fears. But I want you to know that I will never hurt your sister in any way. I love her so much. And she's the one I wish to spend the rest of my life with. Besides, I have no intention of um, being a housekeeper for the rest of my life. Yes, yeah, sister. Hey, look, and I, we love each other so much. Yes. Um, all I need is your support. So please. I can see you have already made up your mind. Who am I to oppose it? Mm. I wish you people well. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Thank you very much. Mm. <laughs> Into. 
to know why you insisted on us coming to the village when your parents and siblings are in the city. So, tell me, who are we coming to see? Nobody. I just needed some quiet time with you, away from the hustle and bustle of the city. I think there are other fancy locations we can always achieve that. But you insisted on dragging me down here. Yeah. But you know I've been out for a while. And you know I've really missed my view. Okay. I can't wait till December when She was abusing him, telling him all sorts of evil things, and he wanted to not really child. Eh? The boy got angry and left the house. Is that why you saw him? She saw him? Yes. Hey, please, which way did he take? He ran towards the market. He came back and he was going to run after him, so he doesn't do something stupid to himself. I would have come to go to my mother's house. Don't worry, I will just take care of it. Thank you. Go oh, now. Thank you. We're here. Yeah. Oh, really? This is a here place. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Home. <laughs> so. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Um. Who is he? Um. Hey, look, how is the young man my father employed to take care of the house while we are away? Oh. Okay. Yeah. I see. So, uh, when did you get to the country? Last week. Wow. Yes. I say she goes. You've seen it, now. Huh? I hope the house is clean. Yes, sir. Oh, that's and nice. And the kitchen is fully stocked. Oh, really? <laughs> and whatever you want, I can prepare. Uh, don't worry. Then take care of yourself. Come back. Okay, Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. Right. This is fine. Yeah, I know. She don't want to answer me. Of course she's your mother. I don't think so. 
a mother does not hate her child. Why does she hate me so much? I mean, what wrong did I do? You did not do anything wrong or so. Then why does she hate me? She doesn't hate you. She's just hot. It's the circumstances of life. What did I do to hurt her? You didn't do anything. Trust me. Trust me. She's just that she's been through a lot, a lot. And that's my fault? No, it's not your fault. Then why does she take it out on me? Also, listen. Just be patient with her. Be the good boy that you've always been. I'm sure she will come around. Eh? Listen, you have to be very strong. Very strong. Promise me you will be. Eh? Remember, you're the only man in her life. You just have to be strong for her. Promise me. How can I do that when she doesn't want me in her life? Believe me when I tell you that you're the light in her life. Just, just be there for her and help her heal. Please. Heal from what? Mommy, please, whatever it is that I have done, whatever I have done to offend you, please, I am sorry. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. You are my mother and I love you with everything in me. See you hurting. You do not know the amount of hurt you have cost me. You don't know the pain and the agony you have cost me. But if you want me to stop hurting, there's only one thing you can do. Whatever, mommy. Whatever you want me to do to win your love over, I, I, I'll do it. Whatever, just, just name it. Disappear. What? I want you to disappear. Going to make my life better. Just disappear. It's that easy. Go far, far away. Go away to a place I will never have to see you again. Because your face is a constant reminder of my wounds. you do that for me? Can you do that for your mommy? I mean, you care, right? She don't want me to suffer anymore. She don't want me to hurt anymore. Then do the need for
Azamun, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I was actually coming to your workplace. To see me. Hope there's no problem. Not at all. There's no problem. Okay. So, um, this place now, I'm going to... You know, this land was actually given out by my father. Okay. Yeah, but I've discussed the, the man, so they're going to return it because I want to do fish pond down wow. here. Wow, that's going yes. to be real big. Yes, yes, it's going to be real big. So, but why did they even give it out initially? Why? Yeah, because the man needed the land and then, you know, he wanted, he needed money. So, he borrowed money from my father. Oh. You know, so it was more like a collateral. Oh, yeah. that's true. That's, that's true. Uh-huh. That's, wow, that's nice. Yes. Why is she staying at us like that? Uh -uh. Lucy! Lucy! Is this you? I'm sorry, excuse me. I don't know you, do I? Ah, ah. Lucy, it is me now. Candili Alfonso. Hi. We used to be best of friends way back at St. Teresa's Girls College. St. Teresa? Saint Teresa. Sorry, do, I... Do you know her? Uh, of course I don't. Um, <laughs> I won't blame you if you do not recognize me. <laughs> After all, it's been years and um, we have all changed. But Lucy, I can never forget you. There's no way I will not recognize you. You used to be best friends now. Sorry. I think you have the wrong person. Uh, Baby, please, can we just leave? Uh, oh, uh, Jado, wait. Are you not losing Paul? Babe, babe, how come she knows your name? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm looking at you. Listen and listen, okay? I don't know you and I don't know how you got to know my name, okay? I am not who you think I am. Sit a good look at yourself. I mean, look at how tattered you look. How does it ever occur to you that I will get to know you in this life and in the next life to come? How? Babe, please let's leave already before someone keeps embarrassing you in your village. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Auntie. Maybe. Leave already, Auntie. Leave. Maybe you got the wrong person. This one you're talking about work. What about your school? Because uh, all lady told me that you got admission into the state university. As long as my mother is concerned, that is not happening. What do you mean? Well, the truth is there is no money for me to go to school right now, and that's why I need a job. But what can you do? I, I can do anything. I mean, I can clean, I can wash, I can cook. Please help me talk to your boss. Since he's already around, I'm sure he will need someone to do the chores. Well, the thing is, he's just staying for two weeks. But not to worry, I'll put in a word for you, okay? You know, manning the gate and doing the house chores can be cumbersome for me. <laughs> thank you very much, very Luca. Thank you. I promise I will not disappoint no, you. It's not a problem. It's not a problem at all. Uh, um, so, when, when am I expecting to hear from you? Um, give me from now to your weekend. Okay. From now to your weekend. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. I'm really grateful. Uh, let me start um, going home since I... Are you going my way? My regards to 
your sister. Okay, sure, she will hear. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, yes. That was Lucy now. Lucy Bono. Oh, Yama. I can't be mistaken. Even if I'm not eating well, my eyes are still very, very clear. I know who I saw. Bye. Far Lucy. Far Lucy. Sister. Hmm? Mm. Hmm. This is it. You know this life, eh? This life is somehow. And sometimes I just wonder what I did to deserve this fate. What fate are you talking about? Ogini, what is it? Do you remember Lucy Bono? We used to be classmates in secondary school. Lucy Bono. Uh, uh -huh. Before we came down to this village. I won't even blame you if you don't remember her. After all, you were a child then. I remember Lucy, your best friend that time. Uh -huh. The one you used to give your used clothes. And I would get angry that you were supposed to give it to me. Wham. Can you hear me? What happened to you? I saw her today. Where? In this village. In this village. And I was so surprised when I saw her. And what did she come to do? I don't know. But the one that is even making me angry or sad, I don't even know which one. Eh? Is that she pretended like she didn't know who I was. Man, you call ma'am. So it's possible she did not recognize you. What they going on now? Ah, yes, now. Even after I mentioned her name. It's possible. Ah. Mm -mm. I know what I'm saying. There's this look I saw on her face that told me that she knew exactly who I was. She remembered me, but she just didn't want to admit it. Sister, I still think you're over overthinking this thing. Eh? Find out where she lives in this village. Pay her a visit and make her to remember you. But it's possible she genuinely did not recognize you. Eh? Oh. Sister, I'm going to say, Luca, I'll soon be back. Oh? Don't, Don't think about it, sister. Hmm. Let's see. Hey, mom. You remembered me. Baby. Hmm? Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Are you sure? I'm fine. Yes, because you've been acting all weird since we met that woman. Who is she? I don't know her. I honestly don't know that woman. You don't know her, yet she knows your name. I don't know how she got to know my name, but I am certain I've never met with her in this life. Never. This is strange. <sighs> Babe. Please. Can we go back to the city already? I don't understand. We've barely spent a day and you're asking that we'll go back to the city? Yes, babe. We've barely spent a day and a, a strange lady already knows my name. How much more creepy can it get? See, babe, relax. Okay, relax. You're just being paranoid over nothing. I mean, this is a very peaceful village, I can assure you, for security. I believe there is a missing link somewhere. But babe, what, what if she just comes up with see, see, something? See, 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 this is supposed to be a two weeks getaway. So let's not spoil the phone because some strange girl knows your name and all that. Let us concentrate and have fun and enjoy your stay. She just knows how to get me off bad moods. I love her. So that's it. I love you, man. Bia, 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 bia. Ozemena, what in the name of wizardry are you doing with my clothes? Mommy, I'm washing them. Oh, no, no. Who asked you? Who asked you to lay your filthy and coarse hands on my clothes, you child of misfortune? Mommy. What? Who is your mommy? How many times have I warned you not to call me that? And how many times have I warned you to stay away from anything and everything that concerns me? Ah! 
Ayusu, are you not tired? Are you not tired of inflicting my life with, with, with your bad luck? Are you not tired? If I am such a bad luck to you, then why did you give birth to me? I never asked to be born. You brought me into this cruel world and turned around and accused me of being responsible for your misfortunes? How dare you? How dare you raise your voice at me? Are you mad? Oh, wait, wait, wait. You have grown, right? Itogo? You have grown wings! Oh, no, 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 no. Maybe you want to go fiscal with me, right? Get away, Wajuku. You want to fight me? Pianum. Come and fight me! I say you need to go! Look at you! Oh. You think I never thought of getting rid of you? As in, in your small mind, it didn't occur to you that maybe I actually thought of getting rid of you. Now let me tell you the gospel truth. I thought about it a thousand times. Not once, not twice, more than a thousand times. But all thanks to your grandmother, who persuaded me and insisted I gave birth to you. And what happened? <laughs> she died. <laughs> she died. Now you understand why I say you are bad luck. You are bad luck. You are evil. You have always been bad luck and you will always be bad luck. Look! Evil child! You have always been bad luck and you will always be bad luck! My God, I hate you! I hate you so much! The mere sight of you makes me want to do something stupid! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you, I hate you so much! I, I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you so much! I hate you! Honestly, I was surprised when Ozemina met me on the road to ask me if there were any vacancy here. And when I asked him about his school, he said there was no money for him to go to the university this year. That was why he wanted a job, to mm. keep himself busy. Trust me, that's not his only reason. How do you mean? He's been looking for an opportunity to leave the house. To leave the house because of my sister, his mother. And I do not blame him. But Ola, why does your sister treat her own child with so much disdain? A child that she bore in her own womb for solid nine months. Why? Eluka, if I have that answer, I'll give it. I don't have it. <sighs> so, what did you tell him? Anyways, I, I told him that I would talk to my boss. But the thing is, my boss and his fiancée will be staying for just two weeks. So I don't really know how it's going to be. Talking about your boss is here. Oh. <laughs> Come on, sir. Yeah, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, hey, look, uh, who is this beautiful damsel? <laughs> um, boss, her name is um, Oledo. And um, she's the one I intend to marry. Oh, really? Yes, sir. So how come you didn't mention it to me? <laughs> Sir, I was going to... What? <laughs> when? You were going to when? Well, never mind. Um, so, any plans yet for a wedding? I mean, have you taken a date? Mm, not yet, sir. What are you waiting for? Get it done and let me know when you do that, okay? All right, sir, I will. Yeah. I must say you have very sharp eyes. I mean, <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah, eyes are beautiful thing. Thank you, sir. 
Never knew you were this smart. Your brain was so sharp. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, my young lady, Sir. I hope you don't mind if I borrow your hobby for a while. There's something he needs to do for me right now. Oh, it's okay, sir. I was about leaving, sir. Leaving? Yes, sir. I hope it's not because of me. No, not because of you, sir. Yeah, because, because you can stay. Mm -hmm. Well, it's okay. Uh, okay. Sure. There's something you need to do for me right away, okay? okay so, sir. Um, what's that your name? Ola, sir. Oh. Such a beautiful name. Mm -hmm. Well, Ola, I hope to see you some other time. Sure, sir. I'll always come to see Luca. Yeah, feel free to come around anytime, okay? Yeah. Luca is a good boy. Luca, okay. yeah, come. All right, sir. Bye. Bye. See you. Also, what is it? You know, I feel sad each time I see you like this. What do you want me to do? Pretend like everything is fine and that I'm happy here. How long will the printer go? Something is happening. Is he being treated by your own mother like an outcast enough to make one sad every day? She sees my presence makes her sad and I'm the bad luck in her life. Also, do you know she doesn't mean that? Why do you keep making excuses for her? It's clearing. She hates me so much and I don't know what I ever did to her. Maybe I should just leave here so that, I mean, she will not be sad anymore. So you're going nowhere. This is your home. How can this be my home when I am constantly reminded that I have no place here? So please, you need to stop. Please. But that's the truth. Was I the cause of Grandma's death? What? What? This is ridiculous. Oh wait, did they... Yes, she did. She said my present brought so much bad luck and killed grandma. My God! This is the height of it. Sister Kambili? Sister Kambili? Okay, Why are you calling my name as if you are the one that gave it to me? Okay, me? Why would you tell Osemena that he's the cause of grandma's death? Is he not? This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Hmm. Have you also considered the circumstances surrounding Mommy and Daddy's death? Mommy and Daddy died in an auto crash. An accident! They would not have been involved in that accident if they had not taken me to hospital that night. Aren't you blaming for that? Yes! Yes, I do! I blame him for that! Just think about the way he came into this world. Who long he lost everything? Everything I know we had to come back to the village. Grandma took us in. Of course, she didn't have a choice. We were her son's children. All of a sudden, I realized that the monster was growing in me. Do not call him that. That is exactly what he is. A monster. I did not want to keep him. But Grandma insisted. Now tell me, how did that end for her? I don't believe this. But let me remind you, since you have chosen to forget, Grandma died of the stress of taking care of that boy and you left in her care. She was so old and fragile. A woman who was supposed to be resting after all her years of suffering. But no, you left him for her care. And that was why she died. And it is so easy to point accusing fingers and neglect looking inward. But congratulations, dear sister. Super congratulations to you because you're gradually turning into the monster you accuse him of. I will not have you talk to me like that. Sister, it is obvious you do not want to let go of this pain. You're still dwelling in it. After so many years have passed by. Sister, this will be very 
back to lay all those accusations on that innocent boy. Enough! Enough! I have had enough! Listen, I will do with him whatsoever I please. And as long as I keep seeing him, I will always remember the past. Now tell me, what were you expecting me to do? What were you expecting? That I should hug him, give him a round of applause, pat him in the back, and tell him, well done! For destroying my life! Is that what you want? Sister. You are beginning to sound like a provable broken record. But I hope you're ready when the harvest of this pain and anger you're planting inside of him, when it grows and germinates, I'll be ready to rip this fruit. Hope you are ready. Big sis. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, um, a quick one. How conversant are you with this village? Uh, I have lived here all my life. Oh, okay, that's to say, um, you know most of the families in this village, right? Mm, it wouldn't be wrong to assume that. <laughs> that's fine. Um, so, um, do you know one Kambili or... Kambile of Fozo, something like that. Kambile of Fozo? Yes. I know her. You know her? Yes. And do you know where she stays? Of course I do. Fine. So, um, you take me to her place, okay? Oh, but not today. When I'm ready, I'll let you know, okay? No problem. Thank you. Um, oh, um, I hope there's no problem. Uh, no one that you will concern yourself with. When I'm ready, I'll let you know, okay? Okay. Thank you. So this is your next agenda, right? You want to bring an enmity between my sister and I. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so what you now do is go about complaining about me and reporting me. Who knows how many people you must have discussed me with. I didn't discuss you. Listen, oh, they can all fall for your emotional blackmail. But you know that will never happen to me. Never. Because I know you very well. I can see through you. I am the only one who knows how evil you are. <laughs> and no matter what you do or how hard you try, I will never forgive you. Forgive me for what exactly? For bringing me to this world and abandoning me? For the constant guilt tripping? Tell me, Mom, what would you never forgive me for? You have never really been a mother to me. So you can continue playing the victim for the rest of your life. I don't care anymore. You've made yourself clear. I am not your son. So henceforth, I will act accordingly.
My God, Lucy, you actually came to see me? <laughs> I cannot believe it. Um, can you come in? Come in. Um, save yourself the strength. I, I didn't come here to see it, can't believe. What did you call me? Oh, now you know who I am. Don't be deceived. I remembered you even when you accosted me the other day. So, why did you act like you didn't know who I was? Kambili, isn't it obvious? Do I need to spell it out to you? <laughs> well, indeed, this life truly no balance. I mean, who would have thought that the high and mighty Kambili of Forzo will end up a village woman? Who would have? Not in my widest imagination would I have ever thought that. I mean, who would have believed that your crash landing would be this shameful while you were riding on your high horse? Who would have? Did you come here to insult me? No. I came to put it to you that you should stay away from me, Kambili. Please. Act like you don't know me. We may have been friends in the past. That was in the past. You see that rubbish you did the other day? Please, let it never repeat itself. Okay? I can't believe you're saying all these things to me. <laughs> Lucy, we used to be best friends. Who deceived you? Me and you, best of friends. <laughs> Wake up from your dream, girl. Don't be deceived. Look, I was only pretending because I had one or two favors to benefit from you, but not anymore. Can't believe we are all grown up now, and what's the pretense for? Why should I keep pretending? What? what, what? Well, keep pondering and wondering, but I am here to tell you to stay away from me. As you can see, we are now words apart. Keep clear. I'm out of here. Hi. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Um, where are you headed? Why do you want to know? I could give you a ride. I am not interested. Sorry, please. I don't buy it. Okay. I, I would like to have a word with you. Well, right, please.
Thank you very much. You're welcome. You see, um, Kambili, I mean every word I told you earlier. I really like you. What do you really want from me? I want to get to know you more. I want us to be friends. You see, I've not been able to take you out of my head since the first day I saw you. Do you know I have searched everywhere looking for you? And what about the lady I saw you with? Lucy. Lucy, Lucy is just a colleague. Yeah, we work in the same office, you know. Um, she just insisted she wants to follow me to the village and I obliged. I mean, don't worry about her. She'll soon be going back. Okay? By the way, how did you know her? We used to be best of friends in secondary school. Really? So how come she didn't recognize you? <laughs> she did. She just didn't want to be associated with me. How do you mean? She came to my house and she warned me to stay away from her. She said, I should just pretend like I do not know who she is. What? Well, it's fine. I mean, she's very correct. We're not of the same. In fact, we're worlds apart now, so it's okay. That's so unfair of her. She has passed her message and I understood it very well. So I'll just stay away from her and be on my own. Anyway, um, uh, thank you very much for the ride. Um, I have to go now. Uh, I'm going. So when do I get to see you again? I really do not know. Thank you. Yes. See? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done for you, sir. Oh, you are? All right, hold on a second. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. I hope to see you tomorrow, right? Yes, you will. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. What? I don't like him. Any particular reason? Not to lay my hands on, but there is something about that guy. He that... seems to be a nice guy. And he's hard working. Well, it's your business. Deal with him. Here. See. The last one. Uh, uh, come down, down. Come down. <laughs> I'm showing you something. See. <laughs> Ah, Alza, you are ready to leave? Yes, I'm done with the job for the day. Okay. But I really don't want to go back home now. You can ask me that. Oh, okay, no problem. Thank you. Come and sit down. What kind of problem is this now, eh? Where is your Mena by this time of the night? He's not back. This is all like him. Ha! Huh. Sister. Sister, I can't believe. You don't know what I'm saying. 
What is it? Oh, me. Uh -huh. I'm hearing it. What do you want me to say? Your soul is not back. By this time of the night, you're not going out. You just come. Mm. What do you want me to do? I should go to the police station by this night, okay? And organize such facts. Because I'm not talking to you. Besides, he's a good man. He can take care of himself. Oh, Papa! What is it now? What is it we should leave you? Leave you. Ah. You never say so easy. You know what? I don't know what this place. I don't really know and stick with the police. I don't know if you come and ask him the space I already have. Let me do this for you for more. Hi, Papa. Ah! Oswemena, Oswemena. Oswemena, where were you? You got us worried. Us? Don't be like that. You and I know that woman will never be worried about me when it's her life's goal to get rid of me. I would just stop calling her that woman. But she has never been a mother to me. Neither has she seen me as her son. We can't continue to pretend like everything is okay. Also, no matter what you say, she is still your mother. So where were you? Well, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't tell you. Tell me what? I started work at Mr. Philip's place. Oh, nice. Hmm. Even at that, you should have been back before now. So what happened? Yes, but I still do brother Luca. See, I discovered that whenever she sees me, something triggers inside of her. So I figured I might as well stay out of her way. So I've decided to leave the house very early in the morning and come back late at night. That way she doesn't get to see me all the time and she can have her peace. Oh. Oh. You're becoming too sensitive. <laughs> Do you blame me? Ozemina, everything will be fine. Hmm? You have to stop coming back late before I leave. Oh! Yes. Come inside. You don't know how long I'm waiting for you to come back. I'm sorry, but I said I'm sorry now. My friend, come back here. Where are you going? And where were you last night? What is it to you? I beg your pardon. It's again. What do you care? Something came up. What? I just got off the phone with an executive of one of the companies I submitted my proposal to. And they want us to meet tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. Isn't that too so urgent? I thought exactly. But you see, this is what I've been waiting for all this while. I've been waiting for this call. And I can't afford to miss this opportunity. So it therefore means uh, getting this over, right? The meeting is slated for 2 p.m. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. If I leave very early, I will meet up the meeting. You can wait for me. Huh? Yes, let me just rush in, go do the meeting. I can come back and meet you. Uh, uh, we just hold it and then don't complete that statement. I'm going with you. Babe, I've spent a week and three days in this village already. That's enough. Besides, this uh, gets away didn't quite sit well with me in the first place. So, I'm going. So, are you automatically 
put an end to uh, get away. Babe, I'm so packing my bags. I'm not the one who did. It's the company you submitted your proposals to. Babe, please, please, let me go start packing. Let me go speak to it, I'm saying, ah, I can't wait. This is my surprise. <laughs> Serious. Babe, help me now. What is it? Let me go get my bags ready. I'm leaving. Also. Okay, Chuku. Sir. This information is for both of you. Lucy and I will be returning to the city tomorrow. Ah, Ross Philip, I thought you were staying for two weeks. Yeah, that's the idea initially, but something came up. There's an emergency, so I have to return as soon as possible. Okay, uh, also, yes, sir. you don't have to come to work tomorrow, okay? As a matter of fact, you should be coming once in a week from now on, okay? Um, drop your account details so I can be paying your salary. I don't have an account number, sir. I don't get it. You don't have an account number. So, how will I be paying you? I will send my own, so... You should be ashamed. Oh yeah, at this age, you're still using your own account number. But that's okay. Send the account number. Make sure you drop it before you leave, okay? Thank you, sir. Uh, sir, when is do we expect you? Um... Let's say maybe Christmas time, I think. Uh, that should be Christmas time. So I'm going to return with the whole family. Thank you, sir. All right? Thank you, sir. Okay. All right. Go back to the post. Okay, All right. sir. All right. How's that, man? How's that? What's that mean? Yes. Are you okay? <laughs> you don't look like it. What is the problem? Talk to me. Is it because Bruce Philip will be going back to the city and you won't get to be coming to work every day? See, I know the reason why you want to work here in the first place. It's because of your mother, right? Until Ludo told you. It's not exactly a secret. Well, I want to stay out of her way, so I don't get to make her sad all the time. You think your presence makes her sad? So she says, and obviously that's the truth. But have you tried talking to her to find out why she thinks you make her sad all the time? How many times? I've tried that for years, and all she keeps saying is that I ruined her life. Well, no matter what, I want you to always remember that she's your mother and you can never give up on her. That's all you keep saying. But she has already given up on me. <laughs> also, the truth is that a mother cannot truly give up on her own child. You know what? You can always come to spend your day with me. Really? Yeah, really. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Ciao. Thank you. <laughs> you again? Yes, me again. You know, it would have just been better if you just told me where you live. Why do you want to know where I live? So, we don't get to bump on each other like this. I mean, I could just visit you. And why do you want to visit me? You see, something inside me tells me you have an answer to that question. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. I don't at all. Okay, let's just say I am attracted to you. 
I mean, there's this force, this drive within me. And I don't just want to go ahead of myself thinking that you feel the same way about me. <laughs> You're very funny. <laughs> Kambili, I want to be your friend. I want to get to know you more. Please. Okay, let's okay, just say, say I am attracted, attracted to you. you. I mean, there's this force, this, this drive, drive within me. me. And, and I don't I just, just want, want to go ahead of myself, myself thinking that, that you feel the same way about me. Antiola, mommy, mommy. Sister, Antiola. hand me over the keys. Don't even bother. Hmm? Let him go back to where he's coming from. What are you saying? I don't understand why you're asking me. Do I have water in my mouth? Eh? Do I have what I meant? I said, let him go back to where he's coming from. Sister, you need to open this door. You cannot leave him out there by this time of the night and in the cold. What is my business? I don't understand. Eh? You want me to keep repeating myself, Okuya? Shebi is coming from somewhere. Ah uh ah, -uh, what is the problem? Let him go back to where he's coming from. Simple. Sister, give me the keys. And if I don't give it to you, what will happen? Are you going to fight me? I will if I have to. <laughs> Give me the key, sister. Eh, I can see you have been gearing to do this lately. But let me remind you, whatever you do this night, nothing, and I mean nothing, will make me release this key. Excuse me, sister. Sister, this is not fair. This is not fair. This is getting out of hand. I don't understand it. Sister. Also. Oh, yeah. so are you there? Yes. She has refused to give me the keys and I, I, I cannot open the door. Well, I'm not surprised. What happened? You came back really late today. I guess I lost track of time. Uh, but you would have just stayed back with a loca. Eh? Well, I didn't know if he was going to be okay with it. So what are you going to do? Is she insisting on not opening the door? Yes, she's insisting. In that case, I'll have to go back to Brian Lucas, please. Now are you sure? I have no choice. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Okay, start going. Oh, be careful. I will call a local to let him know you're coming. Nico Badogwanya, oh.
sleep here? Yes. Why did you sleep here? I had no choice. What do you mean you had no choice? We agreed that you were going back to Eloka's house. And I even called him, he said he'd be waiting for you by his gate. So why did you sleep here? I was on the way to his house and I saw some dangerous looking men, so I ran back to the house. Oh, Uh, hey, Luca. Sir? Take care of the house, okay? Yes, sir. What is the meaning of that? Meaning of what? Why did she wave at you like that and you smile back at her? Babe, do you expect me to ignore her? She's from the same village with me. I don't like it. And besides, when did you become so familiar with a village low class like her? When? Why are you sounding like you hate this girl? Yes, I hate her so much. What do you say you don't know who she is? I don't know and I don't care to know, but I hate her. So why hate on someone you don't know? So long. So sorry, I was at the back, sir. Doing what? I'm sorry, sir. Eh? I, I'm sorry. I thought I thought you traveled to the city. Good afternoon, sir. Uh -huh, good afternoon. Yes, I traveled on the back. Eh? You have a problem with that? I'm sorry. What about madam? Got to see her. You blind? See her now. She's sitting here. Sorry, sir. Come on, go and put the phone. Stop, stop asking stupid and foolish questions. Okay, sir. I'll see you. Sola, you're back already. Yes, I'm back. This on your face is like this. Is everything okay? His boss is back. 
Mr. Philip. But I thought he left this morning. Yes. He left. But he came back. And funny enough, he did not come back with his wife today. Is there a problem? The same question I'm asking. I don't know. Well, let me go and find out. Also, no, no, don't, don't go. Why not? Because you seem not to be in a good mood. Okay. KB. <laughs> KB, baby. I thought you were not going to come again. Why won't I? <laughs> when seeing your beautiful face is all that has been in my mind. <laughs> you flatter me. No, I don't flatter. I'm just telling you the truth. Okay. Um, please come in and sit. Thank you. So, um. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have anything to offer you. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. What more can you offer me than giving me the opportunity to behold your beautiful face and <laughs> admire your beautiful smiles? <laughs> so, do you stay alone here? Uh, no, I stay with my younger siblings, but they are not around. Oh, too bad. <laughs> too bad. I would have loved to meet them. Well, subsequently, you will. Is that an invitation to come in more often? If you're not too busy with your girlfriend, you are welcome to come to my house anytime you want. Who's my girlfriend? Lucy, of course. Who told you Lucy's my girlfriend? Is she not? She's not! <laughs> well, she's just a colleague. Really? Oh, yes. And she came to the village with you. But that's because we work together. I mean, our MD in our company paired us because we're doing research. What kind of research? Agricultural research. We work in an agricultural firm, you know, and we do researches on uh, cereals and other agricultural products. That's what we do. I mean, that's why we came together. As a matter of fact, she's gone back to the city. Huh. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. You sound like you don't believe me. Ah, uh, I believe you. Oh, well, of course. So, <laughs> and you? I mean, what's up? What's up how? I don't understand. Who is the man in your life? Why are you asking? To know if I'm trespassing and be very careful lest I carry bandage and all that and walking on the streets. And what if I tell you that you're not? For real, for real. Then I should call myself lucky. <laughs> are you? I should say, I am a lucky, lucky man. Okay. So am I lucky? Good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Good. Um, there's something I've been to discuss with you. Hope there is no problem, sir. No, not at all. There's no problem. Okay, um, why don't you come around to the house? Say, in an hour time, I want to discuss something with you and look at you. Uh, okay, sir. Right. I'll see you then. Okay, sir. How are you? Angela, what are you doing here? 
Your boss asked me to come. He said there's something he wants to discuss with me and Eloka. <sighs> but Bruce Eloka is not around. He sent him out to the market. Eh? But is he around? I mean your boss. Yes, he is. Okay. Let me just go there and wait for Eloka to come back. Mm. Okay. Are you done with your work? Yes, I'm done. I was about leaving. Okay. You're not going to be for Eloka to come back? No, I'll just hang around somewhere and then wait till evening. Yeah. Yes. I'm very sure I will not stay too long here. I'll come back home. Okay. Please sit. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Um, would you have some red wine? Uh, I can get a glass for you. Oh, no, sir. Thank you. I don't take alcohol. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Oh, well, you're in luck. I got some very beautiful grape wine, non-alcoholic from Italy. Let me get you. Oh, no, no, sir. Thank you very much. I'll just wait for Eluka by the gates. I said, let me come and tell you that I'm here, sir. Oh, it's okay. Okay, you can as well wait for him here. Oh, oh no, sir. I'd rather wait for him by the gate, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. Please, sit. I don't buy it. Do I? I know, sir. Uh, so, harmless. I know, sir. I thought that since it's both of us you want to talk to, let me wait for him when he's back. We can now come and see it together, sir. Well, it's actually you alone I want to talk to. What? Yes, that's why I sent him out. Right, so when you come, we'll have enough time for ourselves and we'll have some privacy to discuss. And what is that supposed to mean? It simply means I've been here over here for you. Oh, yeah, ever since I set my eyes on you, I mean, it's been you running in my brain all the time. And I begin to wonder, what? What will a beautiful girl like you be doing with such a church rat? I mean, you need a real man. I mean, someone who is man enough to I'm take care of me. I need to go down. I mean, damn, I'm not done talking. I said you need a man like me to take care of you. That's what I mean. What's wrong with you? Are you mad? Did you slap me? Did you just slap me? Don't come close to me. Is that what you did? No, no, no. Is that what you did? Don't come close to me. You see? You slap me. You see? You see? You see? You see? Did he hurt you? Thank God you came in when you did. I knew something was not right. I mean, he invited you over and sent Boreluka out on an errand. So I decided to hang around somewhere and then I heard you screaming. I never knew he could do a thing like that. Because he seems so irresponsible. I knew something was off about him. But I just didn't know what. Do you know you just lost your job, right? And who wants to work for such a beast? Huh. <sighs> My God. What? What if he died? Zemena! Oledo! Azemena! Alezo! Alezo! Look at this. Why are you yelling my name like that? Is it true? Is what true? Did you two attack my boss? Answer me! Yes. So it's true then. You attacked him and made away with his money. Why? Hey! That's a blatant lie! And I'm very sure you still don't believe that! 
it does not matter what I believe anymore. What matters is that a man is lying half dead at the hospital because of what you two did. That man has been nothing but good to me. Even to you as a man. That would have saved him right. Did you even stop for one minute to ask why we did what you did to him? Or would you just believe one side of the story? What possible reasons do you have to do what you did? What? He tried to rape me. What? Your boss forced himself on me. And he would have succeeded if Oswald did not come on time to stop him. What? Are you sure of what you're saying? He invited her in the guise of wanting to discuss with you two. He sent you out on an errand and asked me to leave. But... He's not that kind of man. It is left for you to believe the side of the story you want to believe. But if you choose to believe his side of the story that says that we've made away with his money, then I'll be disappointed at you. What is it? What are you doing? So I came to inform you that I won't be working here anymore. Why? It's a decision that I took for myself. I realized that it's time for me to move to the next level of my life. And I I also want to use this opportunity to thank you for all you've been doing for me. Thank you, sir. Hey, Luca. Hey, Luca. Hey, Luca, come back. Hey, Luca. Hi, beautiful. Hi. What happened to your head? I had a minor accident. But I'll be fine. Are you sure? Yes. <sighs> How are you? I'm fine, just that I wasn't expecting you. Oh. Is it a bad timing? Uh, no, 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 no. Come on. Come. What are you doing? Who are you referring to? I'm talking to this animal. Are you okay? Is something wrong with you? What is he doing here? You know each other? Yes, I know him. He used to work for me before he connived with his gang members to rob me. What? He's lying! Shut, just shut up! Just shut up! So, uh, what is he doing here? I mean, who is he to you? Um, he's my younger brother. Um, one of the two siblings I told you I have. Mommy, you have to stay <laughs> away from this man. Why is he calling you mommy? <sighs> Go inside now. But mommy, I don't want to repeat myself. Now! Um, okay. Can we can we go somewhere and talk? Yeah, sure. Are you okay? Yes, 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 I am. I am. Uh, 
my mother used to call me mommy because according to her, I was her mom's reincarnation. And before I knew what was happening, everybody started calling me mommy. The name stuck. When my parents died, I became a parent figure to my siblings and it's normal for them to call me mommy. It's making sense. I mean, for one, that moment I, I, I felt you were actually the boy's biological mother. <laughs> Me? How can I give birth to such a big boy? Yeah, if you had given birth early enough, of course. I am not his mother. I have not said. Come on, relax. I was only talking. Um. You said Osemina could knife with gang members to rob you. Yeah, well, trust me, I don't want to talk about that now. I want to talk about something more important. Like what? Our feelings for each other. Ozo, why is your face like that? Did something happen? He was here. Who was here? Philip. Knew each other. I don't even know. But that's not why I'm worried. I think she's his next target. And her desperation for a husband will make her vulnerable to him and unable to see his lies. Also, you are right. Hey, so, so what have you been doing? Honestly, I don't know. But we have to do something about it. She can't afford to go through another heartbreak. That's true. Where is she? She left with him. I have to be by me now. Look at you. My grandmother named you. 
I am not going to listen to you because you are not making any sense at all. What is wrong with you? I finally find a man who loves me, a man who respects me, who even wants to spend the rest of his life with me. And instead of you to be happy for me, you are here talking nonsense. Sister, trust me. Philip is not the man you think he is. Oh, so what kind of a man is he? Because I'm interested. Philip tried to rape me. Really? Yes. Where? In his house. <laughs> what were you looking for in his house? Sister, are you even listening to me? I thought you'd be happy for me at least. What is your problem? Ola, are you happy with the kind of miserable life I have lived all these years? Are you happy with the pain, with the suffering, with the agony? Are you happy with the disappointments? I finally find a man who makes me happy. I expect you to be happy for me. Sister, you deserve better. Philip is, Philip is the man God sent to me to compensate me for all my years of disappointment. What about Osemina? Have you told him about him? He mustn't know about your seminar. And you owe me that as my sister. But he will find out. Sooner or later he will. What will happen if he eventually finds out? Allow me to worry about it. Are you sure this is a good idea? This is going to be up right now. Listen, I know she's going to be hot. But her heart will be lesser now than when she becomes too deep into me. Eluka, 
Please, you have to help us. Look, you have to help us save our sister from this evil man. Please. Bikun, please. All right, I will do it. You will help us? I will do it. <laughs> Thank you. I need you very much. No problem. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> Thank you. What is this? Mommy, you were right. And because of all the bad things you've experienced, my presence has done more harm than good. My existence has dented yours. What are you trying to do? I know about everything that happened. What are you talking about? I, I, I know about the rape. The accident. And you were right. It was all my fault. He needed to know why you're treating the way you do. So I had to tell him. I also know about the many potential suitors you've lost just because you found out I am your son. And I really deserve all your anger and wrath. But please, I want you to forgive me. I am truly sorry. Please, I want you to see me as your son. And I promise to make things right again. And how do you intend to do that? I, I, I don't know, but... I will do whatever it takes to make you happy. Please, mom. Um, sister. He needs this mother. Please, I beg you. Stop depriving him of that. Be cool. Please. My dearest, my sweet son, also, listen, I want to apologize to you for everything I have put you through. You see, last night got me thinking and I just realized that 
I have been punishing you for things that were not even your fault. No, mommy. You don't have to apologize. No. No, 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 no. Allow me. I need to apologize for everything I put you through. You see, yesterday, you asked me for a chance to be my son. Today, I am asking for that same chance. Just give me a chance to be your mother. That is all I ask. I love you. I love you too. I love you too, my son. <laughs> hmm. Here, come. Sit. Sit, sit, sit. <laughs> this is for you. You know, it is something I have never done for you before. So today, I am asking you to take this as a gesture, a kind gesture from your mother. Hmm? Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. And so just enjoy yourself, okay? I want to go out now, but okay. we are going to talk more when I come back, okay? Okay, mom. All right. I'll be waiting for you. What is the hell? Oh, there you are, cheap prostitute. Lucy, what are you doing here? I should be the one asking you that question. Philip, you lied to me. You lied to me that you received the call from a non existent company because you wanted me out of the way for your escapades. If not for Eluka, who called me over on the phone to tell me of your activities, I would have been left in the dark, Philip. What did I do? Oh, you did all of this because of this, madam. Hmm? Because of this empty product, this riffraff. That's why you did all of those things, right? Don't you dare. Don't you dare call me riffraff. <laughs> I'm feeling you disappointed. You really did. To think that you, even if you wanted to cheat, you would have looked for something better, not this, this empty product, this used product, Philip. I am really disappointed. You would have done better. Huh? What is she talking about? I can't believe. Please. Just go. We'll talk about this later. Please. What do you mean? That's a serious. What he means is that the rightful owner has come to take her position, okay? So, back off. Say. You must be a big fool to think that he needed something other than sex from you. I know my man is a clever dude. He loves to explore. And he did. He liked you and he succeeded. Look, let me tell you, the funniest thing about all of this is that my man here will always find his way into my arms. Philip, you are not saying anything. What do you want me to say? Look at you. Look at you. I can't believe that you still have false hopes that my man will settle with you, right? After you finished living a reckless life, now you carried your baggages to come and invest in someone else's man's life. You must be a thief. But you know what? I love Philip. He's a clever man, a smart man. I love you, baby. I love you too. Philip. Yes. Say something. Say what? I mean, something like what? 
me. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Were you ever thinking I'm going to marry you? Maria. You must be joking. I mean, you should be somewhere standing up on the stage making people laugh. Cracking <laughs> jokes. Oh, yes. I don't get it. Like, you expect me to leave this beauty and marry this washed up single mother. It shocked you? It shocked you. <laughs> you think I won't find out? <laughs> but no, 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 no. You are lying to me about Ozemena. Forgetting that this is a small village where everybody knows everybody. Like we know each other. As you can see, you are not an angel. <laughs> hey, I don't think it's so hard on yourself, okay? Just see that we just marked, I mean, escapades, right? It was hard for one. And we all move on and I move on. Aye. To the next bus stop. <laughs> hey. No, I should jam my hands together for you. No, Philip, I should jam my hands together for you. I'm sorry. To so think that even if he wanted to rock somebody, he has to be a dead, a dead, you know what I'm talking about. doing the same thing. Do you ever get stopped? What pleasure do you derive from other girls that you don't derive from? I'm asking you. Oh. It's fine. I'm okay. I just have to go now. Okay? Yeah. There is more to what a woman can take from a man. I'm done. Come on, 
never deceive another Abby, woman. Abby, please, 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 please. Abby, please. Abby, please. I'm, I'm, I'm your friend, please. Come here, come here, please. Ah, come here. Even in a crazy world. I don't get it. Like, like, you expect me to leave this beauty and marry this washed up single mother. Mother. I mean, who would have believed that that your crash landing would be this shameful while you were lying in your eye holes? Who would have? It is so crazy to put it in this. I look like a king. But what is this? 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 What is I miss her too. She would have let me to die. Don't say that. Do not. Listen. I am very sure God has a reason for keeping you alive. I know he has so many good things in store for you. See, as long as I have breath in me, I will always be there for you. Also, you are a survivor. Your name is Azuemina. The wars has come and gone. And they will never come again. After the rain comes sunshine. 